Warning, do these repairs at your own risk. Please watch the whole process before you start. Check if these techniques are the best solution for you see ring. Be sure to have all the tools needed and time for repairs before you start. In this video I will show you three ways to repair a figurine. The first one is going to be simple. It's only going to require a little bit of super glue. The second one is going to be a little bit more complicated because requires a lot more of patience, a little bit more skills and a lot of common sense. The third one is going to be applied when your figurine is start to bend over because the time, aging or because it's damn too hot in your area. But don't worry, everything has a solution here. This figurine is from the game Project Diva. This model is called Miku Tsukin, in the case you were asking. As you can appreciate the quality on this one is flawless. Well, the only problem with this one is that the face only looks good in one angle. The details on the clothes, especially the wrinkles, are really nice. Sadly, one day I kicked my tripod, and it landed on this figurine. This was the damage. I was really lucky, because it broke this way. It looks pretty bad, but there's nothing that patience and super glue cannot fix. As always, when it happens, it freaking sucks. That's why I'm gonna try my best on the repairs, since these beauties are not cheap at all. Just look how beautiful is the high heel. Anyway. For this fix, we're gonna use super glue. This is the only thing you're going to need. The regular tape and the painter's tape are optional. It will only apply if you wanna take care of the paint on your figurine. So, basically what we're gonna do is to tape around the high heel. To do so, you can tape and then cut the extra. We're going to do this in case the super glue overflows. The painter's tape will act as a sponge. This tape will absorb the overflow in super glue. We will use a swab to apply the super glue. Let's remove the cotton from one end. You can use whatever you want, but since we have to reach inside the figurine, we need to push the super glue without putting too much. We need to set up everything in place so we are able to work as fast as possible. After all, the super glue only gives you 30 seconds before it dries.
the first step is to get out of the pack from the leg. There are many ways to do it. We're gonna try a few ones. And if you know a better way, just let us know in the comments. Let's set up the figurine so we can work as comfy as possible, since we need a lot of patience and dedication for this repair. Now that we have a good panty shot, I mean, the leg on sight, we are ready to drill. We are going to drill by hand the center of the peg. Just do it little by little. Now we have to drill a hole. We need to get the steel wire with the super glue and this is how we're going to get the base peg out of the leg. We let it dry for 30 to 40 seconds and we will pull little by little. Remember that the figurine is fragile and we're repairing it, not doing more damage. We can see now the base of the bag, but the steel wire did not hold on it, so we're going to do it again. Normally the peg could be used again for the repair, but there is not enough material, so we will have to improvise. Uh, you need to search for something with the same shape and the same material. You could find anything that resembles a peg. Uh, you could even try to replace it with a custom wooden peg made from leftovers. Uh, in this case I will use the plastic frames that hold the base from another figurine. I mean could figurine of course. Since we have to custom build or base peg, we need to drill it. This material is harder than the original material, so we're gonna heat it out a little bit.
Looks like it holds better than the renal and since now it has a steel wear inside, this fix can be used even on the joints of the nendoroids or ball joints figurines such as figmas. Now finally these two extremely different figurines are ready to get back into display. You are going to need this repair in this situation when you are living in a really hot area or when the material of the figurine is not that well designed and it probably bent just a little to the front or to the back. This could happen to anyone. Also, in this particular figurine, the base broke, so we're just gonna use a little bit of super glue, and that's all. Luckily, for this case, you don't need anything super hard to do or particular to do. You just put the super glue and stick it together for a little while, and you're done. The main problem is this. Leg bending, as we can see here, happened for two reasons. Poor design, or you live in a really hot area. Summers can bend a figurine depending on how the weight is distributed. We will try to fix the picture on this one. We are going to use warm water. Do not use boiling water or extremely hot water. Let's start using warm water and maybe heat it more according to how the material react. Better start from low to high, since too much heat could damage the paint and the figurine, so you gotta be careful. Now that you can bend a little bit the figurine, try to bend it as much as possible and put it down the warm water, so it will help it to stay that way. You need to keep doing this till you feel that it's already really flexible and it's in the right position but you have to have a lot of patience doing this process because if you do it really fast or if you try to bend it too hard you're just gonna broke it and we don't want that. We will use cold water. Why cold water? Because technically, since it's hot, you can bend it, but if it's cold, it's not gonna be able to bend it back because it's gonna be harder. So you grab the leg in the, or any part in the position you desire. And then if there is not enough, you just need to repeat the process. For example, in this figurine, we're just gonna do the other leg because it also bent and once it's in the desired position, we're just gonna put it on cold water. Always trying to keep it in the original position, so it's harder in the right way. Now we're gonna make a test uh, placing the figurine on the base. Also, it looks like the base holds pretty well from the last repair. So yeah, basically use super glue and you're good to go. Uh, now the legs are fixed. Here 
Here we can appreciate uh, the real difference. Just look how Ben is on the left image. I think it worked pretty well. But on a closer look, the whole body is bent. We will have to do the process on the torso. We are going to use a hair blower, but be careful since the heat on the blower will damage the figurine if not used correctly. Here's an example, the, this plastic doesn't look to be affected or anything, but once you start to do something, it's just melting. So try to use it on the low setting. The other important thing when you're trying to heat up plastic is that sometimes they will do something like this. They're just gonna start to shrink, they're gonna start to get something real shapes. So do this at your own risk and please have this in consideration. So be sure to use it on the low setting heat and keep moving. Do not stay on the same place too long. Uh, double check how the heat is working by bending little by little and if not moving to play a little bit more heat uh, In this case the waist has a lot of bending so we will focus on it Be careful not to bend way too much. Uh, we could also break it uh, Bending in the correct position. I'll cool it down Uh, this is the amount of time and heat that it took me to try to repair this figurine so you will get an idea of how much is too much or how little is too little. Try to work with the materials that you have at hand at the moment and use your best judgement. Remember we're trying to repair the figurine and uh, we're not trying to break it. So how a lot of patience please. For cooling it down, we're gonna use the same technique. We're just gonna use a bowl with water. Uh, uh, in this case, it doesn't go all the way in, but we're just gonna try to do it as best as possible. The final product is really good. I'm pretty happy with it. And the Dead Master is ready to battle.